Cameron, this is Melissa Ford and Anthony Edwards. Melissa Ford called Kevin Lowes. His Steve style, what they going to do on Mr. Chow's. That's right. On a recent episode of It Is What It Is, Cameron would freestyle and take shots at some of the people who've had a lot to say about him over the last year. And the most notable was obviously Anthony Edwards, but he also took shots at Melissa Ford for trying to snitch on him to Kevin Lyles and Steve Stout. This all links back to when Melissa Ford insinuated that Cameron might have been at a hoe house and could have been in a hoe house where there might have been kids and even made it seem like he could have been around one of those houses where kids could have been and you know how that goes that rabbit hole pdf you know the rest and i think it was kind of a great piece of information as cameron said that melissa ford tried to get support for her case by going to kevin lyles kevin lyles the ceo of 300 entertainment and also a former top exec at def jam and also steve stout who is a ominous figure in hip-hop he was somebody who revolutionized advertising in the music industry. So there you have it. Cameron would oust Melissa Ford as someone who needed support because Cameron was providing too much pressure. And I must say, he sure was. The podcast, the Joe Budden podcast looked shook. None of the members of the show held Melissa Ford down like that. And it's certainly fine. Melissa Ford's a big girl. She could take care of herself. But it's interesting to see Cameron not let this go and i don't think he's ever gonna let it go so hey melissa ford just you know keep doing motivational stuff but melissa ford wasn't the only one cameron would take shots at he would also mention anthony edwards and how you know he tried to give him his props but anthony edwards still said some crazy anthony edwards would say f buddy and cameron in the freestyle would actually do a clever wordplay and said the guy in the commercial that was pulling the receipts actually look like your homie lover friend and it seems like you two had a deep attraction to each other nice word played by cameron i ain't too mad at this freestyle i thought it was pretty good you know i think cameron is a great rapper one of the best to ever do it and i remember when cameron and joe were going back and forth i was like man i like joe bunnan as a podcaster more but cameron when it comes to his music oh man i'm listening to cameron every day of the week over joe i think people believe that because i'm a fan of the joe Budden pod that i like joe Budden's music nah man i hate joe Budden's music i really after the first album i was done but i'm sure there'll be a lot of comments about how you know the rest of his career was awesome but let me know what you think about cameron's freestyle do you feel like he restored the energy there were some other things he said that might have been you know subs that other people within the industry something about friends and and maybe that's an allusion to Dipset. I wonder what Cameron and Jim Jones are doing now. Or do they even text? You know, these guys were inseparable. But it doesn't seem like they're cool anymore. I don't know if Jim Jones has ever been on It Is What It Is. I don't think he has. But that's your bit of news today with regards to It Is What It Is. Cameron's freestyle on the show. All right, y'all. Follow me on Instagram, The Stop TV. Follow me on Twitter, The Stop TV. This is Danny from The Stop. Peace. Hey Danny, um, congratulations on launching your YouTube channel. That is a big deal, honestly. Um, there's a lot of people who think about doing things and never actually get up off their butts to actually do it. So congratulations on that. When it comes to the haters, I mean, that's just life. I mean, I can't tell you how many haters I've had over the two decades I've been in this business. Um, and it's, you know, it's not always easy dealing with them, but if you know that you're talented, if you know that what you're doing brings you a sense of joy and you have a passion for it, the haters will, honestly, they're just confused fans. They will jump on the bandwagon or they won't. At the end of the day, it all has to do with what you want to do with how you feel about what you're doing. And if you are impassioned by what it is that you're doing, then nothing else matters and all of the BS fades away. That's basically what's happened in my life by my own experiences. So I wish you the best of luck. I think you're gonna be epic. And thank you so much for hitting me up.